ball, so I, it was luck, but we messed around in practice shooting half quarters, and I guess we just got lucky and got one to fall. I mean, after Ty's almost went in in regulation, I just, and it was about from the same exact spot, I just just went in, and I don't know how it's, the rest is a blur, I don't know. What, what was going through your mind as it was hanging in the air? I was just watching it, and once it left my hand, I'm like, okay, that kind of feels good, so I started running to the sideline, just kept watching, leaning, and then it went in, and I just freaked out after, that's, that's all I had to do, so it was just amazing, and I'm, I love my team, and we're going to try to come out tomorrow and get a win against the Mustangs, so. Was that, was that the best game you've ever played in, Jim? Uh, yeah, that was, that was a crazy game, probably the most crazy finish I've ever ever been a part of and uh, I don't know it was just a great way to finish it helps that you yeah yeah, yeah it's just after I hit that three in the corner I was kind of feeling it and then I half court heaved it and it went in so it's just a fun atmosphere and a great game and hats off to Bountiful because they're a great team and they had a 20 game winning streak and so it was a tough tough game for us but we came away with the win so future, I'm happy for it. Your future teammate Sam Merrill had 35 points tonight. Talk about his performance. Oh, he's a great player. I mean, we, we were having troubles trying to stop him and he just kept going, just kept grinding it out for his team but once Ty fouled out we were kind of we were kind of jumbled at a second but we got our team together and that's how we, how we do it and our coaches just were great and he played a great game so I'm looking forward to playing with him eventually. So. How about Goddard and shit in those three free throws when he got fouled? Oh, those, those were huge. I mean, like against the in the Logan game when he missed those free throws, I think ever since then he's been in the gym after practice shooting free throws, and I think it comes down to that. And he was focused and knocked him down, and then Brian Doherty getting on that ball and able for us to call a timeout was huge. And so I'm just happy for them and happy for our guys. It's a great win. Goddard had to hit a shot all night. You were relatively quiet, but you guys were the guys that stepped up. Huh? What goes through your head? Did you get frustrated or um, what were your emotions? Just... No, I, I knew they were going to come out and try to guard me and stuff like that. And I just kind of go with the flow and let the game kind of come to me. And it, eventually at the end, it, it was my time to just go. And I just got the ball in open places. And that's how I converted on those shots that I got. So. Big steal at the end there. Can you talk about the steal? Oh, it was huge. I mean, once it went over like that and Brian got, dove on the ball, and I just was jumping up and down trying to call a timeout with two seconds left, and we got it, and that, that's when we got the ball, and we just chucked it. And, and so. You guys kind of got blown out at home by Mountain Crest and lost on a buzzer beat in yeah. third place. How do you feel about getting one more shot at that? Oh, I'm feeling great about it. I mean, they beat, they played Logan three times. They get to play us three times. They came from behind against against Logan, and that's a great victory for them. So I think it's going to be a great atmosphere tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to the game. And I think there's going to be a lot of people, and we're just going to have to come out with a lot of intensity. So I'm looking forward to it. They just showed the replay there. How do you hit a shot fading away to the right even? Um, I have no idea. It was luck. <laughs> It was just luck. And two guys were, it looked like two guys were around you too. It just, I had to fade away so they didn't have a chance to contest the shot and then I just threw it up there and went in and I just, I appreciate all the fans for coming and supporting us. We had a lot and Bountiful had a lot and it was a crazy atmosphere. It was way loud. I couldn't even hear it when we got in the locker room. So I was just, I'm just glad that we came away with the win and I think we're well deserving of it and we worked hard to get here. And, we're going to try to take the championship home. What do you think your, your team's mindset is going to be tomorrow after a big win like this? Um, we're going to have a lot of intensity and energy, and we're going to want some... We're going to want a piece of Mountain Crest. I mean, they've been, they've been beating us since we were little kids, and we're going to try to get after them, and I think they're going to get after us, and I think it's going to be a Skyview Mountain Crest physical game, so it's a great rival, rivalry, and I wouldn't ask for anything else in a state championship game.